Watch my flarkin' back while I deal with this door. You sure you can get it open? You gonna second-guess me every step of the way? I'm not! There, let's go. I wasn't second-guessing, I'm just... Sure. What would make Nova turn on Nova? Perhaps they were not acting of their own free will. Uh, they sure looked like they knew what they were doing. To me. All right, hang here we come. What the flark was that docking number? R73-4PL. Are you serious? Always. New favorite person, Muscles. <laughs> no, not really. There she is. Come to Papa. 4PL, done. All right, bay is clear, extending catwalks, and... Flark! What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up, but you're gonna have to release those clamps manually. All right, release the clamps and don't die. All faithful, converge on the central hangar. All right, release the clamps and don't die. Let us deal with these rebel. Focus on the clamps, Peter. We'll try to keep them off of you. One down.
Whatever their deal is, these guys are no slouches! You've got a good view! This is always awfully beautiful. It's creepy is what it is! Peter, let me end it. My blade will not be silent, murderess. Call me that again and I'll murder you. I am not the enemy, traitor. Okay, look. We just need to show some backbone here. My backbone is showing. No, no, I, I mean, we've got more power and speed than these goons, so there's no need to be afraid of them. Who's with me? Here we are! No idea! Oh, I do not know why! This glow is oddly beautiful! Engines are hot! Sheep warmers warming! I am good! Watch the ones on the side! Come on! We're almost there! My ship! I got her! Careful! You want to do it? Yes! Get ready. Now! Move, move, move! Oh! Oh, on the back! We should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the tracker's still counting down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Hella knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Look, me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket?
Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? It means solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Depends if she are count. Saw a few of them last time. That's done. Thank Flark. Guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Leave us alone, Quill. I need to clear my mind. This book is not helping. If you need a recommendation, I just finished the World Mind's postmortem on ineffective planetary scale battle tactics of the Galactic War. What part of this would help clear my mind? None. It's very upsetting to read. So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere here we come. and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wonder what kind of person found it was like, oh look, the severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare, very valuable. The marketplace came after, along with the noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. In nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Novacor all the time. Trust me. He's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! Are Rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. Are 
you had dealings with this Cosmo murderess? What about Rocky and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? You don't have Apology to does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? It demonstrates a willingness to compromise. I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? Where do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. He met right here. Back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave. It befits them. Anyway, Cosmo sniffed out a scheme me and Yondu had cooking. He threatened to throw the both of us in jail. I've heard he keeps things on a pretty tight leash. Keep an eye on your things. These kooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. They have fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill. There are people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. The soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. The Mad Titan will pay. For Mantis, what are you? Do you still have those suicidal urges? What? No. Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you? Hi. Sun Lord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. That's not... Oh, oh you poor... No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. Where the Kotati they wrote. The broken promise of all will be made. You okay? Oh, hey, Gamora! You look less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah, uh, fuck. Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. If you're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy? Me. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You are being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. I'm not gonna ask, but if you wanted to talk about it... <sighs> we met after I escaped from a failed job. I, I was in bad shape. I'd probably be dead if Mantis hadn't found me. She saved your life. Yep. End of story. That is not the end of the story. I know, big guy. <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. 
the heck was that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Uh... Gamora? Guess I'll go talk to Cosmo alone. You must have a good nose. All I can smell is the brains. Ooh, I want our bandit. Hard to say, but it looks like it's almost ready to pay out. Okay, one game. Contact local. Ah, oh, crap! You gotta be fucking kidding me!
gates open. Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out the way. Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there, Star Lord. In Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose. Definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo. Then I can deal with the team, if I can find them. Peter, there's something out there. But I won't tell you what it is. Because I think being distant makes me mysterious. Hate mazes, especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude, deep breath. Deep breath. I am Groot. Stop being so nice to him. Growl, grumble, hiss. Fuck! I myself a heart attack.
you when we got here. Watch it, Star-Lord. And what's a filthy scut-stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that. We might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, hey guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? The... Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him. We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, <laughs> uh, lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die! Wait, did Lady Ace want him alive? Damn. <laughs> uh, uh, late Lady H, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice! You don't cross Lady H. Uh, triple! Uh, oh, I'll triple it! Yeah, now, Ross. Would it help if I said I was sorry? Get over here, we can collect the pound. Get crushed, Harry. Maybe we sit down, have a choga dog, talk this over? His mouth moves more than his jumpy poop. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! Here. No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks, but we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> 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 Draw them apart before shooting, Peter! Heads up! Right, We're too no, strong no. together! This whole thing was a setup from the start! We're plenty smart! Knife to meet you! Nice of you to show up, Gamora! Thank me later! How can we take them out? I knew something was up from the start! Why are they so focused on me? We need to split them up! Now this is almost a fair fight! Gamora. To the bone! Main train's coming! Together. 
No one understands that reference, Peter! Mobilize up! We're coming down here! They're invincible when close! Bring them up! My guns, do something cool! They grow strong together! Let us split them apart! Now is the time to strike! Keep the herd coming! Do your thing, Gamora! Now you two are in for it! I kinda wish you not to warn us about this! What the? Peter! What is happening? Come on, it's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together.